over the years there've been many many entrepreneurial experiences and um tough lessons learned consequently but uh one of the most powerful ones was um it was powerful perhaps also because it happened when i was quite young was when i uh in 1996 i became the ceo of a um joint venture with the tata uh tata motors and so i wasn't an entrepreneur in the sense we think of today but i was an entrepreneur supposed to help build this uh, new venture and make it successful and i remember i i was 32 years old completely inexperienced and my job was to assess whether this venture could even be saved or whether it's better to exit and shut it down and being young and naive i decided the best thing to do is go out and talk to people so i went out and talked to customers dealers you know our counterparts in tata motors and i realized oh my god the reason this thing is failing so badly is because every one of our assumptions is turning out to be wrong so for instance we had this was a, a joint venture to produce high technology clean engines at those days at euro 2 emission standards and we had said oh people will be happy to pay for a new technology american engine which is green and we i learned that they were willing to pay a premium of exactly zero for that um so our pricing was wrong what they wanted was instead fuel efficiency and we had not optimized for fuel efficiency then we had this assumption oh this is such a modern engine we don't want those they're called shade tree mechanics you know the mechanics who sit under a tree with a little stool box we don't want them repairing these engines and we're going to set it set it up so that only tata motors dealers can can do this in a clean uh environment and organized and professional etc well nice try what happened in practice was the quality of these early vehicles was dismal every single truck and bus had lots of failures and imagine that a truck is going on the night on gt road between calcutta and patna or somewhere and it breaks down and there's nobody there who knows how to do anything right and it's scary because those days bihar was also very um lawless so the customers were really pissed off and so we said look if but one by one by one and you know the engine had all modern sensors and so forth completely unsuited for india of those days because the mechanic would do some welding on the truck and short out the sensors and then the thing wouldn't start again so to the lesson here was wow don't go you know go out there and talk to customers don't just be in love and infatuated with your own ideas about how the product should work and how the world should work um and also in reality almost all your assumptions no matter how much work you've done will turn out to be wrong which is why you need to iterate and pivot etc so that was the lesson go out talk to customers don't be infatuated with your own views of the world